the Muslim Congress has called on the federal and Oyo state governments to wade into the raging hijab crisis at the International School Ibada, owned by the University of Ibada in Oyo state. The call is one of the high points contained in the 15th series of the quarterly State of the Nation address by the TMC Committee on Social Mobility, Economy and Politics, presented on Saturday in Lagos. General Secretary of the TMC, Al Haji Abdewasi Bangbala, the address. For the 18th time, we condemn the job crisis as the international school Ibadan operated by the University of Ibadan and we hold the federal government and the new government of Oyo State led by the governor Shilima Kede to wade into matter and restore normalcy and decency to the institution. Until the Supreme Court make a final judgment on the issue of female Muslim wearing their hijab across the length and breadth of the country, we will continue to speak up on the injustice and harassment, harassment meted out to the female Muslims. The case, is, the case at ISI has dragged on for too long with the social authority insisting on maintaining the status quo, leading to the collapse of the out-of-court negotiation and the consequent psychological problem the affected school children are going through on a daily basis. It is therefore in order that it is therefore in order that the Muslim Parents Forum of ISI has gone back to court to challenge the infringement of their children's fundamental right to wear hijab. We urge the court to ensure speedy trial so that the case can be laid to rest and the student will be able to properly concentrate on their study. On the issue of public insecurity arising from the restiveness of members of the Islamic movement in Nigeria, the TMC committee urged the federal government to release its leader, Sheikh Ibrahim El Zagzaki, and place him under house arrest. The organization believes this will douse the restiveness of the IMN members and reduce the insecurity in the land until the situation is permanently resolved. The leaders of the Islamic movement in Nigeria, Sheikh Ibrahim El Zegzegi, has been in detention since the confrontation between its members and the Nigerian military in December 2015. A similar occurrence happened in 2014. The series of occurrences may have informed the detection by the federal government to keep him in detention. Though some courts have ordered to release the release of the Islamic leader. The federal government has affirmed its position that it is keeping him in protective custody in order to ensure his personal safety and to protect public peace. But in recent times, the renewed agitation by members of the group of the release of their leader has led to protests in Kaduna and Abuja and then in southwest in Lagos. This protest that are becoming violent and leading to loss of lives need to be proactively addressed. While the federal government is duty bound to ensure and enforce public security, the IMN leader also has right to personal freedom as pronounced by the court. Without diminishing the fact that public security supersedes personal freedom, we urge the government to release the IMN leader from detention and place him under house arrest in a safe and protected house in Kaduna where some of his members can have limited access to him. We believe this without the, the, the retentiveness of its members and reduce the insecurity in the land till the situation is permanently resolved. Otherwise, he should be charged to court to defend himself against any offense he may have been committed. We also hold the member of IMN to desist from violent protest and to keep public peace and order.